Welcome to the heart of Vietnam, Hanoi, the capital city. We'll discover some hidden gems, wander through the streets of the old quarters, and discover some mouth-watering delights of the Vietnamese cuisine. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Hello and welcome back to Living Abroad. So today, Tom had a great genius idea to take a motorbike ride through Hanoi, so the capital city of Vietnam. Honestly, it's pretty, pretty much a dumb idea, but you know, <laughs> I can't disappoint Tom. So we got these like knockoff helmets. I can probably put my fish through it. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, I'll show you guys this, what this old quarters looks like. But before we get to that, this is how we got started. Let's go from the beginning. Let's go! First stop is the old quarters here in Hanoi. So this is the central area. This is known as the real Hanoi. So before we go into it, this is St. Joseph's Cathedral, a very old school, 1886 was completed, neo-Gothic style church. So if you come here, or cathedral, if you come here, the bell rings on the top of every single hour. So it's a nice little vibe. You have the local and the tourists all hanging out here. You have cafes. And if you're too lazy to explore the old Hanoi and old quarters, you can hire yourself one of these bikes, so these tricycles. You're really supporting the community. Be sure to ask the price up front. Now let's get out there and explore the old quarters of Hanoi. Yeah, people here are super friendly. Oh, we were just talking about the bells. So you got lucky, the bells are ringing right now. And people are just giving us tips of what to see. And look at this right here, old school traditional style of selling goods. One thing I really like about Hanoi is you have this really, really cool integration of like the new and the old. We get people selling things on the street, we get beautiful buildings all around, advanced stuff. And I've seen a Lamborghini. I've seen a Rolls Royce and a Maybach. So this place is the place to be. Yeah, really interesting. Let's go out there, check out the old quarters. One thing you have to do when you come into Hanoi old quarters, just walk around the neighborhood. Like you see behind us a beautiful street with amazing buildings yeah. and so many different shops you can just stop by. And even next to us is old way of like cleaning the, what are you cleaning, Tom? The shells? The shells, right, for the seafood, some kind of oyster. I don't, I don't know, little snails, that's what they eat oh, here. Yeah. Actually, snails are very popular for food here in yeah. Vietnam, right? Yeah. So just check out these beautiful places. If you're too tired, get one of these guys to take you around. Yeah. And just explore, stop by the shop. It's, it's a must do here in Hanoi. Yeah, and one thing I really love here, like you don't need to worry about the price. You can like get in and order stuff without worrying about the price because it's gonna be cheap anyway. Yeah, things are so affordable here, you're not gonna worry too much about like prices for coffee or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's always good to ask, but you know, just to let you know, it's not like super expensive to really enjoy yeah, yourself. Yeah, that's Let's go get us something to drink maybe. Yes, let's, let's go. go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this beautiful train tracks here. It's really famous because of the yeah. closeness and the proximity of the houses and the cafes to the railway station. It's a great place to take some pictures, have a coffee, and you know, it's really, really neat to see how close the train can get, right? Yeah, we're gonna show you the footage that how close is it to the cafe. We're gonna be there and sit and watch the train together. Yeah, exactly. You know, the train schedule morning and afternoon, so hopefully we we'll catch that train coming through. Yeah. We've done something similar in Thailand, right? Yeah, yeah. Where do we go? Um <laughs> Mekong Railway Station. That's right. So if you guys want to check that video, click up here and check out that video of us having a similar experience, but not quite the same. Let's yeah. go sit down at a cafe and show Let's you guys. Go. Let's go. Let's go. You're very One, friendly. Thank you so much. this they plant this thing inside the railway so cool we were too early to see the train so we decided to explore the neighborhood i'm having a great time exploring hanoi what do you think so far Bob? it's so hot then i think like because like we come here for a couple of days but the weather is really it was raining right yeah, it, it was, was raining warm. so but today is the nice day Sunny. You know what else is nice? I just saw this donut place. Let's take oh, a look. Oh yeah. Whoa. This Hello. is the same like um, we have in Thailand too. You have this in Thailand? Yes. Uh, how do we ask for this? I don't know. Can um, you try some? Your, your phone. Oh yeah, okay. It's time to use Google Translate and see how much this is. I, can we get this? For 40 pieces. Oh, for 40? Hello? 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 What can I be? I just want some of this. Uh, 50,000 Vietnam dong for 10. 
A lot. Let's do it. Why not? Give me 10, please. Thank you. <laughs> 50, like 75 cents for 30 donuts. Let me get my wallet. Sure. Look at this. What is this called? How to call this? It's called Kwai. Kwai? It's called Pomet Roll. Oh. Boy, boy. You didn't prepare stuff. Oh, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. She's from Canada. Thailand. Thailand. Thank you so much. Come on. Come on. So, yeah, any excuse to eat some food, right? So, we got yeah. some Vietnamese donuts. We get 10 pieces for 15,000 dong, right? Oh, look at this. Mm. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> it's crunchy it's and crunchy. so soft inside. Only like 75 cents. Mm. Anyways, you know what we need? We need a coffee to go with it. Exactly. All right. Let's go get a coffee on a train station. What do you think? All right, let's go show you guys the train station. Or the train street. <laughs> Palm, how is it? Wow, the coffee is so strong, it just hit my head immediately. But the cream is so good, like it's just creamy and smooth. This is made from egg though. Wow. It's so famous here. Nice. Do you like it? Mmm, just 45,000. Palm's gonna be our dummy here. Try it out. What's it taste like? Yeah, I ordered a pretty basic thing, but I really want to try. Mmm. How is it? It's just like I can smell the smoke from the um, stir yeah. fried thing and the taste is so good. It's like um, perfect sweet and salty. Very nice. How much was it? Do you remember? 30,000. Not bad, right? So just over a dollar. Okay, the famous Vietnamese pho. Like this is a beef or pork soup. We got the beef version. Let's go for the broth. Oh yeah, you can taste that lime that's oozing there. It's nice and beefy, right? So a little, a little bit salty, but it's delicious. Now it's time for the noodles. The noodle is special, though. It's, it's a special type of noodles. I'm not really sure, so be sure to tune in for our full-on Vietnamese food tour video. Where I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what's in here. Ah. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so light and flavorful, right? And the beef is going for this bite. Nice and tender, not really chewy, it really kind of melts in your mouth. This is really surprising, it's only 50,000 dong, so just over two dollars. And look at this beautiful view you get from this like amazing train tracks and the cafes, the green, and the curve of these like architecture, the building, everything is definitely worth it. So come here, check out 65 River Cafe. She's super friendly and very kind, and it's really inexpensive, affordable for what you get. Come on, enjoy this. What are you waiting for? Uh, right now we're waiting for the train. I'm actually really curious to see which one's better. This one here in Vietnam and Hanoi or the one we saw in Thailand. Because the one we saw in Thailand was pretty interesting. But the first time I had the GoPro so I got a really nice wide lens view of the train coming in. I'm very curious to see what this one looks like and how close it is to us actually. One tip from the local. She said don't go over the line. The train gonna come around here. So be careful. I'll be careful. And they're really getting set up for this. They get prepared to push away the chairs and close the awnings because this is the world's narrowest train track apparently to residential and cafes. I didn't know that. Here it comes. It's coming very fast actually. <laughs> what a unique experience and environment to have a coffee and watch a train go by. Now let's head back to the old quarters, walk around the old streets, and see what else we can discover in Hanoi. Crossing the road, as I mentioned before, can be a really, really tricky thing here. You gotta look both ways, so don't rely on any lights or zebra crossing or nothing, right? So you gotta be really, really careful. Even if you're on the sidewalk, you might get hit. I look how fast this guy's coming. I'm gonna go, but I can't. This guy's coming from this side. What? Mali Huna, they said the oh, weed. Man. You gotta try to tell me weed while I'm making videos. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> so this guy's on a motorbike asking every foreigner if they want marijuana, heroin, or whatever, women. But I think it's illegal here in Vietnam. Yeah, it's illegal. That's probably why he's doing it secretly. Taking his motorcycle around, asking random people on the street. Masa! Masa, sir! Yeah, so you're gonna get offered lots of massages. It's very affordable here, so just stop by for free. <laughs> for a foot massage or body massage. I've never had one in Vietnam, but I'm gonna have one in Thailand, right? Yeah, this is I'm pretty good. I'm not a big good. fan of massages, to be honest. Even Thai massages, they like cripple you and bend you and all that. I'm not, I'm not about that life. So. Um, but there was a saying massage, so I wonder what that's all about. How much do you? She said, nice. like, hello, did a good massage. And what I say? How good. How good is what I said is the massage. Anyways, uh, let's go. Let's try some egg coffee. What do you think? Yeah, let's yeah. go. Because I know it's famous here, I right? Know, Actually, I know where the original one is. Wow. Right now, we're making our way to the world famous egg coffee. We're going to go try the place where it was first created in 1946. There's like a little hole in the wall, but if, so this was like a tip from a friend of mine told me to go to this one. It's the original egg coffee, famous in Vietnam. Let's go try it out. We arrived here at Cafe Jiang, just the original one, so be sure to come to the right one. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below, just so you know where it is. Yeah. Let's go up there and check this place out. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. <laughs> 1946. 1946. Hello, upstairs, thank you. Okay. The first thing I noticed is a thickness of this. Check this out. Almost like a smoothie. It's really, really interesting. And they serve it in a hot water saucer to keep the temperature hot, right? So, very interesting. I'm curious to see what this tastes like. And they give it a nice mix before we drink this. You know what? I'm going to use a spoon to taste it. Creamy and really smooth. Honestly, that is definitely really, really unique taste. I wasn't expecting for it to taste so it's almost like coffee, but it's really, really good. Wow, highly recommend it. Oh, wow, that is delicious. I really like it. And that was the world famous egg coffee in Hanoi. I loved it. I thought it was really cool. And when we had to pay, we just came downstairs and paid them. They asked how many cups you had. Yeah. So they go by the honor system, which is pretty cool. What, yes. did, you th what did you think of the coffee, Tom? It's just so good. Like the taste is so strong and smooth and perfect sweet, which is I never had it in Hanoi. Yeah, so be sure to mix that coffee because all the good stuff is at the bottom. And really, it was really, really smooth. Something you gotta try if you're here in Hanoi. And now it's time to go ahead and check out the lake, right? Yes. Let's go ahead and check out the lake and we'll finish the video over there. Let's go. Let's go. It's... Oh. <laughs> it's what? Nothing. What? Say, what is it? Let's go. Oh, let's go. Right. Tom, what are we waiting on? What's, <laughs> what's, what's happening? The necklace has something around our bike. Oh, seems to be a dispute about the money, huh? What are you doing? Are you swimming like a fish? <laughs> A dispute over money, right? So, the, yeah, of course. If you're ever gonna take a bicycle or some sort of service, be sure to be very, very certain about how much it costs because yeah. you don't want to get into a position or a place where you have to argue over money. So, yeah, be sure you ask the price and exactly double check, double check all that stuff, right? <laughs> so, we're just waiting on you guys to finish up before we ride to the lake. So we gotta pull out the bike. Oh, my Uber is here. Hello. Here at the Hong Kiam Lake, this you can see lots of foreigners and tourists come here. Just for relaxation, jogging. There's lots of fruits and vendors and people selling you things. It's really cool because it gives you a nice vibe of a uh, really hustling and bustling area over here, as well as really relaxing and chill spot over here. There's also a nice little red bridge you can go there to take some Instagram photos. But you can buy some local items here, some desserts, I see some fruits, get some ice cream, just enjoy your day. Yeah, so this is next on our spot, and uh, have a look around here before we go and check our next spot. Uh, lastly on the stop is here at the Pagoda. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about that, but before we do, let's get some dessert. So we saw this on the side of the road. It looks like some sort of like spring roll, but dessert. Let's check it out. Only $10,000, less than 50 cents. Hello. I just got one thing. Bobia? Bobia. So I don't know. I think it's like 
coconut or something. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a second. It's like a taco or something, but it's so delicious. Put that side. I was gonna let you smell it, but I guess you guys can't smell this. Okay. Mm. Wow. You gotta get that. <laughs> One more for you. Amazing. <laughs> so sweet. Crunchy. But the sesame seeds really give it a nice contrast between the sweet. And thank you. Wow. I can smell sesame from here. Hands down, the best dessert I've had on the side of the road, honestly. It's so fresh, crunchy, and like not too sweet. Gives you a nice little flavor. I love it. And lastly, we're here at the Tren Quoc Pagoda, right? So this is a beautiful Buddha temple, the Buddhist temple that's the oldest here in Hanoi, and it was built in the 6th century. It actually, it's relocated here a while ago. So it wasn't even here initially. So you come here and you see this beautiful picturesque area. It's a nice boardwalk. You get a lot of people taking photos of a bunch of photographers with tripods. It's a nice little area to come for a walk, go for a jog, try some beautiful different snacks and things like that. If you come here, come during sunset, I highly recommend it. It's breathtaking. It's beautiful. You can see the city lights behind, the sky rise buildings, and the ocean. So Hanoi, has, not the ocean, I should say, the lake. <laughs> Hanoi has a whole bunch of bodies of water. This is the West Lake. On the eastern side of the West Lake, so you can see a lot of different things. So come here in the evening, you get this beautiful area to take some beautiful pictures. Pam, get in here. Tell me what you think. Pam, what do you think of this place so far? Um, I It really blow my mind. Yeah. And yeah, because like, at first we didn't mean to stop here, but we saw a lot of people and it's like a nice scenery, right? So why not to let's check it out? Gorgeous. You come here for a walk, bring a date. I see them selling flowers and yeah. different drinks. They have a little stool you can sit down and do like a little nice time lapse. Yeah. And that's basically it, guys. So let us know in the comment section which of the things that we showed you guys today impressed you the most. Anything you want to share, yeah. leave your comments down below. If you take time to write it, I take time to respond. Yeah. And that's it for this one. What was your favorite part today from Hanoi? Oh, it's just so hard to pick, but I would pick the church because I never saw that kind of color before. The church, and it's, right? Yeah, it's yeah. really beautiful with the picture and everything. Yeah, for me, it had to be I don't know, between this pagoda here itself because of the sunset or even the, the egg coffee. Just because oh. I don't think I would have seen that place unless somebody told me about it. Even though it's very popular, yeah. you wouldn't really know if you walked by it because it's kind of like I'm down an alleyway or something yeah. like that. So yeah. that's it. Before we finish up, we're going to leave you with some beautiful footage on the motor ride, <laughs> the, <laughs> the bike ride, the motorcycle ride that Palm was brave enough to take us on. So have a look at these scenes. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye. Come on! Come on.